Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low budget wonder. Now check this out. Let's give you a good look at our squid. And the first thing you want to do, right below the eyes here, I like to make my first cut right above the tentacles. And as you see here from the inside, that's where the mouth would be, that's where the squid consumes food. If you flip it over here on the bottom, you can see it's actually got a beak. We just want to remove that and it pops right out, it's real simple. Just like that. Now if I can just show you here, turn it over. Right here on the top side, it's attached inside there. All the innards is attached to that spot right there all the way up and so you just want to pull with both hands in the opposite direction you can pull that straight out without making a big mess usually comes out pretty clean just like that now this is called the cuddle bone you want to remove that it just looks like a piece of plastic it's just the cartilage but definitely take that out Then you want to remove this fin here, and this takes quite a bit of pressure. You actually have to hold on to it really good because it's slippery. It's good to use a towel sometimes, but just enough pressure, enough force will just pull it right off. And you can use that for other things. And then the skin gets a little finicky as well, but once you get it started, you can work it all the way around and just pull it all the way to the top comes right off. And give it a good rinse. I like to go on the inside and make sure everything is completely cleaned out. And then do the same thing with the tentacles. Now we can start cutting our calamari rings. Now it's up to you how thick you want to cut them. I like them about 3 eighths to a half an inch but that's just me. And when you're done you'll get yourself a nice big pile like this. Then you can move on to the tentacles. The extra long ones I just slice off because I'm going to cut off every individual leg anyway because it's a larger squid. Smaller squids don't have to be chopped up like this. You can go ahead and just cook it or fry it whole. But because it's big I like the individual pieces. Now we've got a pile of tentacles and some calamari rings. And that's how you clean and prepare squid right here in the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen. Thank you for watching and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.